So this is the same vehicle. This is the uh, garbage truck from City Victoria. You can see that, that this chart kind of puts a percentage in each of these boxes uh, to determine you know, the amount of time spent in different operating conditions. So we can see here this line is 800 RPM. Everything to the left of this line would be considered time spent at 800 RPM or less, which is obviously idle time. So if we add up all the percentages in this box, we've now determined that 52.5% of the life of this vehicle has been spent at idle. Okay, the the um, vertical axis will represent uh, percent of torque. So we'll call it percent load. Um, if if we take the 50% and we follow the line along, and we were to look actually at everything underneath that 50%. Uh, we we pro approximately have about 85% of the life of this vehicle is being spent at 85% or being spent below 85% of the life of this vehicle is being spent at low load, so below 50% load. So this indicates to me this would be lower exhaust system temperatures, and and that that those lower exhaust system temperatures uh, don't do not reduce any of the soot or the raw fuel that is making its way into our after treatment system. So that low load operation could induce uh, after treatment plugging, after treatment system failures, um, lack of, of, of regeneration. So these are just good, this is just good data to be able to know how to access when trying to determine what might be taking, uh, what might be causing some problems in the after treatment system. And then on top of that, how we need to set up our features and parameters for this this particular engine so taking this information um, we've got uh, you know we've determined basically that idle is in low load operation meaning that it's got low exhaust temperatures meaning that there's a need for active or stationary regens to take place meaning that this thing needs to be able to regen uh, on a on a regular basis in order to reduce the soot load so in order for that to take for that to happen automatically without the operator having to pull over to the side of the road and flip the switch on the dash um, or the technician having to run a regen out in the parking lot uh, after it you know gets dragged in uh, by a tow truck uh, we need to go to the features and parameters and we need to adjust these settings to to match uh, the operating characteristics of that engine 